Hello and welcome to the Terran Space Academy, where we help prepare you for a bright future in the space industry. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and help us out on Patreon if you can. We appreciate your support. When you come to love space science and rocket technology, you quickly come to realize that it is one of the most expensive industries on Earth. You can get a reasonably advanced computer system today for around a thousand US dollars. But a CubeSat qualified for space operations, usually costs between $50,000 and $200,000 today. Getting it to orbit will cost at least $30,000 per kilogram, if you ride share. If you need a dedicated mission, you have to understand that the least expensive rocket flying today, the Astra rocket built by Astra Aerospace, has a price of almost $4 million. It costs Astra about $2.5 million to send up one of its rockets leaving them with a potential gross profit of $1.5 million, a seemingly high payoff. But space is a high-risk endeavor. The most recent launch was carrying two three-unit CubeSats for NASA. These were called TROPICS, which stands for Time-Resolved Observations of Precipitation Structure and Storm Intensity with a constellation of small sats. That is what the military calls a backronym where you come up with a cool name and then find a string of descriptors to fit. Each of these CubeSats had a dimension of 10 by 10 by 36 centimeters and a mass of 5.34 kilograms each. They needed to go to a low Earth orbit at an altitude of 600 kilometers and an inclination of 30 degrees. This would have given the satellites a period of 95 minutes. The first stage worked perfectly, as did the second stage for a while. Then the second stage engine failed a minute too early. That minute cost everyone all of that hard work and millions of dollars. Once again, space is not just hard, it's expensive. But space must not be just a playground for billionaires. For humanity to thrive in space, it must be accessible to everyone. But no matter how many starships we build and how many star bases, we cannot possibly get everyone to space anytime soon. So if you want to learn about living in space or you have a spaceship design you want to test, what can you possibly do? The answer lies in the matrix. Not this one, this one. This is a virtual space program built by one of the few human beings to travel in space. Gregory Chamatoff was born in Montreal, Canada. He went to high school in San Jose, California, and completed a bachelor's degree in engineering and a master's in aeronautical engineering at California Polytechnic and the California Institute of Technology, respectively. He went on to complete another master's degree in space science while in Houston, and then a doctorate in aeronautics and astronautics from MIT. He did internships at IBM, Northern Telecom, and Atari. He then worked at Draper Labs with MIT building a self-guided robot then worked with NASA on the deployment of the Hubble Space Telescope, as well as control systems for space stations and an intelligent flight control system for hypersonic vehicles. In 1998, Dr. Chamatoff was selected into the NASA astronaut program. In 2002, he was a crew member on the Aquarius Undersea Research Habitat, a part of NASA's extreme environment mission operations. And in 2008, he was selected to be the mission specialist for STS-124, flying to the International Space Station aboard the Shuttle Discovery. He was the flight engineer and science officer for Expedition 17 while on the station, and has the distinction of bringing the first bagels into space from his cousin's bakery. When Expedition 18 brought up astronaut Richard Garriott, the two filmed the first magic show in space and helped film the first science fiction movie made in space. This was called The Apogee of Fear, released in 2012. He returned home six months later on the shuttle Endeavour, STS-126. He flew again on STS-134, the last flight of Endeavour, which docked with the ISS, helping to install the Alpha Magnetic Spectrometer and the Express Logistics Carrier. Senator Mark Kelly was the mission commander. Professor Chamatoff performed two spacewalks. The first retrieved the MISS-E7 experiments and installed the new MISS-E8. The 
These experiments were monitoring the effects of long-term space exposure. The second spacewalk was to stow the 50-foot orbiter boom sensor system and retrieve and replace a grapple on the boom. They also helped with some repairs on the Quest airlock. This spacewalk marked the completion of the U.S. orbital segment of the ISS. After his return to boring planet Earth, Dr. Chamatov divides his time as the Lawrence Hargrave Professor of Aeronautical Engineering at the University of Sydney in Australia and a Professor of Engineering Practice in the Aerospace Engineering Department at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas where he helps develop and design dynamic controls for aerospace vehicles and protocols for human spaceflight operations. I discovered Dr. Chamatov while looking for an expert in spacecraft modeling and simulation for a large rocket system project I'm helping with. Computers have now become powerful enough to very accurately simulate our world. A vital step in rocket systems development is to build your system in the virtual world and fly it according to the laws of physics. The computers can calculate the gravity and atmospheric drag, the maximum dynamic stress, the propellant flow rates, temperatures, g-forces, delta-v, and trajectory. You can even feed your sensors data from a virtual world, allowing your navigation, guidance, and control systems to command virtual engines and control surfaces to fly a virtual mission. This technology can not only allow you to test hardware and software in a virtual world, but it can allow you to walk through your ship before it's ever built, as you saw in our virtual walkthrough of Starship. Dr. Chamatov also wants to make space science accessible to everyone who wants to study. To accomplish this goal, he helped develop the Spacecraft Program, which allows you to design, build, and test your spaceships, but also something called Space Teams. Space Teams is designed to take you on a week-long mission into space. There you will join a team of astronauts and space scientists on a mission that allows you to use NASA and JPL data to create your spacecraft and design a mission. You will then work virtually with other participants from around the world, learning to fly and land a spaceship, live on an off-world colony, and complete your mission. This is an amazing opportunity. The usual cost to help defray the expenses is $379 per student but the Terran Space Academy has been granted the opportunity to sponsor 10 students for free. And after that, there's a 20% discount if you use the code TSA2022. There's a link in the description, and again, the code is TSA2022. The first competition is in July, so get there as soon as possible and sign up. Good luck, everyone. We look forward to seeing you help build an awesome spacecraft and complete your mission on a strange new world at Astro Proterra. I'm astronaut Greg Shamatov, and I would like to take you on a week-long mission in space. Sign up for Space Teams and come on up.